sometime in Georgia, so that means it's swarm season. And I got a call from this construction site to retrieve a swarm that was actually two feet off the ground, but it came out of this tree. So I'm always really excited to get bees that are living actually in trees instead of, you know, from somebody else's beehive. <laughs> so um, I thought it would be kind of cool to get this swarm. So we'll uh, just cut to that video. It's not very long, but you'll be able to see how uh, I just bumped them off a branch. And unfortunately, I didn't have anyone helping me shoot the video. I just kind of took a couple pictures and then uh, shot some video after I did the first bump. But here goes. Oh, use the tarp. It makes your job so much easier. And here is right after the bump. And there was probably easily about three pounds of bees, maybe four pounds of bees that came off of that branch. And that's all I had to do is just lift it up a few inches off the ground, bump it down, and the, almost the entire swarm fell off onto the tarp. That's why I like to use the tarps. So um, it makes it so much quicker for them to go in. But if you take a look at it from this other side here, you can see them just climbing up on that box. That's two medium boxes, five frames each. And they just went right to it. Uh, this swarm literally went in that box within about 15 minutes. That's all it took me to get them. One of the easiest swarms I've done. Um, usually they travel towards her. Uh, so if that queen is still sitting on that branch, uh, they won't go in the box. So she, the way they're going, they're going like a stampede right now. They are marching into that box in a hurry. You see how fast they're going? Yeah. That's quick for bees. So she must have won it, went inside. And, and then what they do is uh, put their butts in the air and they flap their wings and it's got a smell and it tells everybody to go in the box or whatever they go inside. And so I see them doing that up here on top. They're telling all the bees to come in the box. It does. They communicate more by smell than anything. Look, at most of them went in the box now. Most of them went inside. And the ones that are on that branch now, they're coming over here and they're trying to get to these bees in the box. I am watching to see if I do see a queen. I haven't yet. Well, what would the queen look like? She'd be just like them, but bigger. She got a real big butt. And there's our swarm just about an hour later they're settling in I got to make one adjustment to this configuration there's no frames in the bottom box the blue box on the bottom has no frames at all I did that because I thought I could bump them into the empty box and then let them funnel up towards the ones with frames and I never took it off so I'm gonna let them calm down and maybe tomorrow I'll uh, swap it out but they really took to it. They went in there real quick. They seem to be very happy with that box. I had some old comb, a little bit of honey, and they just went right in. I did not see the queen, but I'm guessing at the speed that those bees went in there, she must have run in quick. So we'll, we'll know for sure when we do inspections. But it seems to be that the queen went in there. So there they are, just getting used to the smell of their new home. <laughs> 